Here with head coach Sean Kierkoff. Uh, the Demons fall to Southeastern tonight, three to nothing. Uh, coach, a uh, couple thoughts on uh, on tonight's match before we get into a, a couple questions. Uh, first set was just the story of the entire season. Um, I mean, what what was it? It was twenty five twenty, but I mean it it was closer than that, and and that's part of what I said at the end of the match was, I mean, I don't know if they appreciate how close they were to winning that um, against clearly the best team in the conference. Um, once again, we did not do anything exceptional. Once again, we just made some unacceptable errors at the end or well, throughout the set, you know, um, to either prevent us from pulling away or to being able to close it out, um, which is just the story like I said already, of the season of just not being able to make that happen when it matters. Um, a bad error is going to happen, but everyone doesn't get to have one. <laughs> it adds up to be too much. Um, so that's frustrating. Um, we, we did not have the fight in the second that we had in the first. I thought we came out and did a, a much better job in the beginning of the third. Um, Hunter going out with um, the potential most likely concussion disrupted kind of what we were doing there at the beginning of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, just um, frustrating again to be able to have uh, enough talent to be able to do it, but not being able to close out when it matters. Yeah, you mentioned it was, uh, it was 18 to 15. And we had the lead there in the late in that, mm -hmm. that uh, first set and uh, a couple errors that kind of give uh, Southeastern a little bit of momentum and, and they were able to, to close it out. But also to your point, being right there with one combined kill between Teresa and Reagan is just another instance of right there and just yeah. unable to get, get over that hump. Um, seem like, oh, really on both sides, I mean, anytime there's a three-set match and both teams have 10 blocks, it's, it's a, a blocking kind of game. Mm -hmm. And where our balls against their block would go out of bounds, their balls against our block would find the court or or ours would find their defense and it really uh a frustrating night from yeah. that perspective too yeah i mean i will i'll give credit to their attackers i mean they were swinging into our block with a purpose um and and setting them up to be able to get those tools off the block and and to like you say it's hitting into our block but it's going out of bounds um we made some errors here and there so a lot of it had to do with their swings some of it was okay our our, our block was angled out when we should have been squared up. I mean, it's little tiny detailed things that matter um, in, in a match like this against a good team. Um, but they are, they are big across the board. They are the best blocking team in the conference. And physically, you can look at them and say, yes, they absolutely are. Um, SFA is exactly the same as far as just physical ability and presence at the net. Um, and and while we have good blockers, we don't have that up and down the net. And so for us to be in a position to where we're at the top of the conference again in blocking um, with a completely different roster from last year um, and to have the, the, the physical dominance that Southeastern SFA have that we do not have and to still be up there and then again to be able to compete against a great attacking team in Southeastern tonight and put up those blocks is a great thing. And then it's just little balls here and there about being a little bit more consistent in how you execute that. Uh, you mentioned their, their physicality that, that also, I guess, extends to their, uh, their hitters as well as mm -hmm. they were, uh, the balls that were hitting our block, like I said, were, were going out of bounds and the ones they were able to get through had a lot of, uh, zip to them and really made the defense really tough tonight. Yeah, they're a good team. Um, and a couple of their attackers have been, behind some other players the last couple years and they've developed and they're good now um, so they have a lot of depth um, a lot of it comes down to you, you go back to their match against commerce on thursday um, and i mean just stating the facts nobody really did much except for hidalgo and she won the match for him um, and but tonight they okay rebounded a little bit, a little bit of regression to the mean. A lot of other people, you know, stepped up and started to score and they always, always had that ability. Um, I guess what I'm getting at is when they lose Hidalgo after this season, then it's somebody else is going to have to step up and be that go-to and you don't just get, um, okay, we got to focus on 20. 
now I got a single block or a split block. Um, they're going to have to do that against a closed block, and uh, we'll just see what their progression is in their career.